Hi, this is Anthony with a review on Firefox 37. The new rapid release update released on March 31st, 2015. A generally Mozilla releases these browser updates approximately once every six weeks, but this uh, Firefox 37 update comes about a week earlier. So let's check to see some of the major changes. In this new update, you won't see much on the front end. Uh, the changes and improvements are mostly in the back end. Um, there were over 2,800 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities. Uh, Mozilla has introduced Heartbeat. It is basically a user voice in Firefox allowing users to provide constructive feedback. The main goal is to collect unbiased qual qualitative and quantitative uh, data from users on a daily basis. Um, it's basically Mozilla's uh, way of showing their commitment to their user base. So the user feedback will be collected in the form of um, a five-star rating system. Um, random users will be offered a rating widget along with an engagement page for more detailed feedback. Um, users also will be provided additional options to get more involved and contribute to Mozilla if they wish to. So Firefox users who do not wish to be randomly picked uh, to provide feedback um, can disable Heartbeat. Uh, to do so, you basically um, open about config, uh, you basically open a new tab and type in about colon config in the address bar um, as such. And um, on this page right here, just click on this uh, button that says I'll be careful, I promise. And on this Firefox preference page, uh, just type in right here as you see, um, browser.selfsupport.url in the search box. So we basically want to change uh, the value of this preference to basically nothing. We just need to delete that. So we basically just double click on it and uh, just delete this and say OK. And then you can close the tab. Instead of opting out, uh, I would really uh, encourage users to take the time to provide feedback to Mozilla in order to help them you know, better this Firefox browser. I personally um, like uh, Firefox, but um, and they've been making a lot of effort to make it better. So I think um, you know, we can all help. So in Firefox 37, uh, Bing searches um, will now use HTTPS for secure browsing. And uh, HTTPS uh, really stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Uh, basically, if um, you visit Bing, or the Bing search page, you will notice that uh, the address, web address, uh, has HTTPS, which is basically secure searching. Firefox 37 comes with a subset of um, media source extensions, uh, MSEs, and uh, this will enable uh, you know playback of 60 FPS or frames per second YouTube videos. Um, and if you go to the YouTube HTML um, page, you will notice that uh, there are a couple of uh, uh, media source uh, extensions added, and um, the HTML5 player um, has been set as default. In Firefox 36 uh, and below, uh, you could not play uh, HD videos at 60 frames per second on YouTube. Um, and in Firefox 37 and onwards, you now can um, and, and will be able to play uh, you know, HD quality video at 60 frames per second, as you can see right here. If you still can't um, play YouTube videos at 60 frames per second, you can check my video tutorial on how to do so. So in the earlier versions of Firefox 36, uh, Mozilla had introduced uh, support for HTTP2 uh, protocol, and um, they basically have now enhanced the security uh, to encrypt HTTP uh, traffic if the server supports this new protocol without having to really authenticate it. Um, Firefox 37 also improves uh, the protection against uh, website impersonation by implementing um, a one CRL centralized certificate re re uh, revocation system. Uh, so basically it's going to um, be a better system altogether and be able to control these uh, um, you know rogue certificates. Uh, Mozilla has also made several changes to the you know to TLS which is transport layer security encryption and again this is to do with the um, 
encryption and security of, of the Firefox browser. I'm not going to get too much into detail, but suffice to say that Mozilla is making every effort uh, you know, to make uh, Firefox as secure a browser as possible. For developers, um, there is a new uh, inspector animations panel to control element animations. Uh, new security panel included um, in the network panel and uh, the de debug tabs um, open in Chrome uh, desktop, Chrome for Android, and Safari for iOS. So for a full list of uh, new uh, features and changes and improvements, uh, you can check the Firefox 37 release notes, and I will leave um, a link in the description section of this uh, YouTube video. After upgrading to Firefox 37, I ran a browser benchmark test using Peacekeeper like I generally do. And I was able to run the test for Google Chrome. However, Firefox kept crashing. Uh, I've sent a crash report to Mozilla, so hopefully they're able to fix the issue. Uh, I will try and run the test uh, at a later date to see if the issue has been resolved. And uh, from the results, uh, the performance of Google Chrome has been dropping. Um, as you can see from the chart, in the past, uh, Google Chrome has really outperformed um, Firefox. But during the fa uh, past two upgrades, um, you know, the performance of Google Chrome has been dropping. In fact, Firefox 36 did much better than Google Chrome. Um, but um, overall, I'm not too impressed with this new Firefox update. I don't know whether they rushed the update or what it is. Um, like I mentioned, the crashes that I just experienced using Peacekeeper. And I've also experienced some issues with Adobe Flash Player. Um, anyway, let's move on. So bear in mind that uh, not all add-ons will be compatible with this new version of Firefox. So if you use many Firefox add-ons, you may want to wait for a few days before updating to Firefox 37. Uh, so that's pretty much it, uh, you know, quick overview of the new Firefox 37 browser update. Hope you found this useful. Um, hopefully uh, Firefox will come up with a, a better version, maybe 37.0.1, uh, to fix some of these issues. Um, so anyway, you can um, feel free to check my YouTube channel for um, my other video tutorials uh, and uh, reviews. And as usual, if you've got any questions, you can please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.